Morgan Evans. Morgan, how are you, bud? I'm great. How yeah, are you? I'm pretty good. Morgan has this like Australian beach vibe. He's in he's in flip flops. Yeah. Yeah. It's like cool. old school ones. You don't see old school flip flops much anymore. Is that right? I, what makes these old school? That they're just the toe in the thing. Like, I, like the I feel typical. like it's like Walmart. Those like, are Walmart flip flops. No, no. I right. think that the, they're not. They're, they're not. Are these are the Javiana yes, brand? Yes, the Javiana. Oh, Those yeah. are nice. Uh, too rich for <laughs> our yeah. blood. But yeah. I think that costs you about nine bucks or something <laughs> like that. So, uh, yeah. No, they are cool, but like slides are kind of in right now. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's what bothers me. Oh, the means. slides, I've seen them. Mm-hmm. You wear socks with the slides, right? I've you seen can. people at the airport doing that. So- <laughs> at, socks at and flip flops is like an ultimate fashion disaster where I'm from, but the also airport, very comfortable. I will wear socks with slides only so I can slide my slides off because I will not go barefoot on an airplane. But I will go sock foot if I'm just sitting. Okay. Does that make sense? Perfect sense to me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Barefoot on an airplane. That sounds uh Not barefoot, horrendous. sock foot. Yeah. Sock foot's fine, yeah. Uh, everything else go with you? Life's right. good? Yeah, I mean, we're playing music again. It's uh, pretty hard to complain. Next week, you go out with Brett Eldridge on the Good Day Tour? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. How long a set do you get when you play with Brett? We have 45 minutes. Oh, that's like a whole set. It is. It's a full show. This is actually the first uh, tour I've done in America opening where there's actually someone on before me. So um, that's a, a novelty for me. Hey, it's a big step. Yeah, yeah. someone before him. Yeah. I love that. Here we go. At what point do you play Kiss Somebody? It's funny, man. We've been playing around with that. So I think the pandemic has been really good for one of my songs in particular. Uh, maybe something to do with the way people have been spending their uh, lockdown time. And uh, we used to play Kiss Somebody last because it was the biggest song on the radio. Generally, when you travel around, people know it. But... Um, after the last 18 months, Day Drunk is now by far the biggest song <laughs> really? in our set. So we finished with that, and we played Kiss Somebody a little earlier. I saw you post the other day, and you were like, you can text me at this number. And yeah. Then, yeah, it's on your Instagram bio. So I texted you. I was like, hey, man, you want to go to lunch? And you never texted me back. You did not text yeah, me. Yeah, I texted that number. I said, do you, you want to go to lunch? Just to see. Were you under a different name or something? No, no, I just said it's Bobby. But, that's a, but, but if you text that number on your Instagram, yeah. then does that go right to your phone? Yeah, well, it's an app on the phone, yeah. Uh, so it's not your real number, so I don't have your real number. Well, I do, well you have my real number, too, actually, so you could have <laughs> But you I, did try the, I did try the app. I did text the number. We're like, hey, man, want to go to lunch? And I never heard from you on the app. Yeah, that's right. Well, maybe I need to dig back in there. Yeah. So I do, do, I do jump on there. do you if someone calls? Wait, can they call you? It's not a call thing, no. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a text thing. But it's really cool. I find it, like, I, it's very rewarding th- to be able to connect one-on-one with people. This is what I would like to do, because this show is all about authenticity. Yeah. And if you go to Morgan's Instagram, you can see his text number. Yeah. It goes to an app. But I'm going to give you his real cell phone number, everybody. Oh, yeah. Thanks, <laughs> <Here man>. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to hear you tune live. I know you're about to tune. I want our audience to hear what you're doing preparing for a song here. Yeah, okay. okay all right. Go ahead. Do the live tuning. Yeah. yeah. This is, so right now, he's put the phone on his knee. And on the phone, it will tell you different letters. If, yep. if your string hits exactly right, it'll show up as that letter. Exactly is like kind of a rough term when you use the phone tuner. It's close enough kind make, of thing. Make me seem smart, Morgan. Don't don't contradict me. <laughs> and Morgan's gonna play his new song "Love Is Real," and right now he's perfecting the strings. It sounds way better when it's closely to anything. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Oh, do you hear that? Wow. Wow. Nice. That is a tuning, a live wow. tuning. Wow. For you guys, now we'll tune. Yeah. Wow. That is amazing. Uh, Morgan Evans is here. You may know him by a couple of songs from his past. For example, Kiss Somebody. Sometimes you gotta kiss somebody. Maybe Day Drunk. Let's get a little day drunk. Possibly Diamonds. I love you like a diamond. And so now you have this new song, Love Is Real. And I'm going to have you play the full song. I'm wow. talking. I want you to go from the first word to the end. I want all the emotion from this song. All right. Because you wrote this. How, what happens? You go into a room. Do you have the idea on your phone? Does somebody else come to you with it? Tell me about the, this song. Yeah, I had this title for a long time, and I was just trying to find the right way to write it. Because, um, you know, sometimes songs can get a little bit clever. And, and, <laughs> and the cleverless, like, it takes away from the feeling of the song. Yeah. And I really just wanted this to be... Um, just a straight sharing of a feeling when everything's right in the world. You know, I feel like over the last year and a half, I've wanted the good vibes and I just want to share that. And for me, that's, you know, the lyrics and the verse of this song, which is a good road trip with, this... you, with your girl and um, feel in love. You, have, you guys have a Jeep, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's cool. <laughs> I have no, qu- I have no yeah. follow up. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's cool. So. I just, I just took the the roof and doors off it and all that the yeah. other day for the first time. It's a good feeling. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's neato. <laughs> so, uh, bear with me. Would you mind just playing the first 
line of that song again, just just as you did. Yeah, the guitar line or the vocal line? The, the vocal line. Yeah. I don't know about it. I don't know what a guitar line is. But if vocal, yeah, just sing the first line for me, just like you did. Bare feet on a bench seat, highway in the sky. Hold. Say that with no music, like you're just saying it to me. <laughs> Some sort of test out of stuff. No, 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 just say it like you were talking. Sing it? No, just say it. Oh. Bare feet on the bench seat. Highway and the sky. Now there's an accent when he says it. There is no accent when he sings it. It's unbelievable. Isn't that crazy. He's like bare feet on a bench seat, and it's like so. Hey, Morgan, bare feet. However, your accent. That's crazy that your accent, because that's not on purpose, right? No, it's yeah. weird, isn't it? I um, I grew up singing American music, or I thought it was that, but you know, even Keith Urban sounds American when he sings, you know, and. Even the Beatles sound American yeah, when they sing. I actually I Googled this one time. So, like, you go on YouTube or whatever, and, and there's a guy on there, and he explains that maybe the American accent, the, the way that the American accent approaches vowels is more pleasant to the human ear or something like that, if you want to get technical. But uh, I grew up trying to sound like Garth Brooks, so here I am. Sometimes, though, even Spice Girl songs, they sound like they're speaking American English. Or Brad right. from Three Doors Down has a really thick Southern accent, but when he sings, you don't hear that extreme. Right. So, so basically, music brings us all together. That's yes. what I'm saying. You know it's what? It's universal. It really does, it's universal right? love. It really it's, does. Yeah. That song's really good. When you play it live, it's really good. Kit, have you Thank ever you. tried to yeah. sing with your accent? Try like, that. Try it. Try that line. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. <laughs> you know, there's some there's some like legendary Australian country artists and, and rock and roll artists that sing in Australian accents and they and they do it and it works. For some reason, for me, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel right. Oh. Here's what I want to ask you. you: You have the song "Love Is Real." Uh, which of these do you believe is real? Do you believe that a lot of these little spacecrafts that are showing up more now than ever? Do you right. believe they're aliens? Do you think aliens are real? Yeah. You think aliens are real? In these space, because here's my there. theory. Before I make you commit to anything, right? These guys all say, no, uh, "Lunchbox says no chance." No chance. You guys well, are cuckoo. The, the wait, cuckoo. wait, wait, wait. Is the question aliens are real or no, they're here on Earth? Because uh, here's the explanation. Sorry. I I say that because we're seeing more and more of these unidentified aerial phenomena. Right, right, they're right. calling it now. Yeah. And I say, hey, if they're so advanced and they don't want us to see them, we wouldn't see them. We there are our eyes are, have these cones in them that we can't see some things. Right. Animals have things in their ears; they can hear things we can't. Yeah. There's nothing that says we would have to. We would be able to see. Right. Some life form that is far more sophisticated than we are. Right. Now, do I believe there could be something? Yeah, probably. Do I think these little spaceships that we're seeing all the time have aliens in them? I think no, there. Right. Because if they didn't want us to see, we wouldn't. Yeah. So with all that, are aliens real? You're on the clock. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm inclined to agree with your uh, <laughs> with your. Um, <laughs> Uh, you're thinking that. Yeah, it's silly to like just say there's definitely no aliens, right? I say it's silly too because it's silly to say there's definitely nothing of something you can't prove either way. Exactly, yeah. Right, but, but in our opinion, the mm -hmm. current aerial phenomenons are not carrying little aliens. Do I think they have aliens in them? Probably not, yeah. yeah. What about love at first sight? Do you think that's real? At first sight? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, uh, you have to say that. There's an inclination. You you can definitely feel an inclination. Let, let yeah. me tell you why I don't believe you. I don't okay. believe that. Okay. I believe that there is first sight of wow, that person's really hot, and we hit it off immediately. But sometimes that happens, and, and it doesn't work out. If that happens and it works out, I think you retro assign. It's definitely a retro assignment. Love at first sight. People have more than a look, though. There's an energy people have too. When you look at someone, you can kind of look at me. You can tell. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, I felt you got that energy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I felt that. Yeah, yeah. I can, you can I see in people's eyes here. the way they stand, the way they like open their body towards whoever they're talking to. There's, There's been all a lot of body openers though that I thought that's a good open body, but then end up hating. You know? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Hate at first sight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about Bigfoot? I don't know much about Bigfoot. Do you guys not have a big a version of Bigfoot in Australia? Oh, probably drop bears, I think they talk about in Australia, right? What's that? Bears that fall out of trees. There might have been an alcohol marketing campaign at some point. So that's uh, not a real thing? Drop bears? No, they don't drop out of trees. No. <laughs> There's actually no bears in Australia. Final question. I yeah. got him here. This is the one I've been waiting There's to no ask bears him. I thought there? koala bears were from Australia. Yeah. But oh, drop koala bears. bears yeah. Oh. Not like the big. Yeah. Gotcha, guys. This is the one, though. <laughs> this is the one I'm going to put you on the spot. Okay. And, and your team's going to get uncomfortable, and everyone's going to go, what, why is he asking? All right. And it's not political, and it's not about masks, but, but it's about, do you think that I can beat up a kangaroo? Because I've, I've said for a long time that one-on-one, -on -one, me and a kangaroo, I can beat it up because I'm smarter than the kangaroo. Right. Yeah, I, I mean. You, got, you have a thousand, somebody says, here's a thousand bucks, bet it on the kangaroo in this room or me. If, if we just put a, like, a big red one, like a 
ten foot tall one, and you in this room? Well, yeah, we're not doing a little one. Bones. Wait, they're ten foot tall. Yes, they they're can't ten be tall. on their legs. Good for me. I'm about to really show out then if it's ten foot tall. <laughs> they're, they range anywhere from like five to ten. Okay. And they're ripped. Yeah. Okay, then seven and a half feet. Let's go to the middle. Okay, yeah, go middle. There's a seven and a half foot kangaroo. Still bigger than and you. And we're in a ring. You get and they say Morgan Evans. Here's a thousand bucks. Do, do I get to ask one more question? Yes, whatever you want. You think you can beat the kangaroo? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I bet on you then. Of course. Yeah. Well, you're not going to ask the kangaroo. Kangaroo no. can't talk, <laughs> dummy. <laughs> no. oh, yeah, yeah, I'm the dummy. Yeah, yeah. So the, the kangaroos that you see in those fighting videos, I didn't see them growing up because I, I grew up kind of near the coast, which is like most of Australia, and um, and we have the little gray, cute ones that you try not to hit. I definitely whoop those butts. They're more like they're, they're <laughs> more like deer, right? We love yeah, them. I'd kick you know? your little gray yeah. kangaroos, but I'd do that in like the prelim, and then I'd go out and whoop the big one. Yeah. Okay. He wants we, to beat up animals. We've said, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the biggest animal guy in the world, but now all of a sudden I want to fight them yeah, all in a ring. There's this one in particular. I'm like the, uh, yeah. the uh, Logan Paul of beating up animals. <laughs> I'm on YouTube. Okay, listen. Morgan Evans is yeah. here. His new song is Love is Real. I hope you stream it. I hope you stream it so many times that he just can't count the money showing up in his mailbox. That's, that's the goal, right? Thank you, man. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. He'll be out with Brett Eldridge on the Good Day Tour. Is there? Uh, he's on Instagram at Morgan Evans Music. Is there anything I'm not saying that you'd like for me to say? You've nailed it all the way down to the kangaroos and thank you, Bigfoot. Yeah. All right, that is all. By the way, I would just like to say, out of pure respect, you know what? I'm not even going to say it on the air. I'll say it off the air because it means more that way. All right. All right. This is a. Thank you, man. We'll be back in a second. Oh, no, you're leaving, but we'll be back in a second. Morgan Evans, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, guys. This is about